It is my understanding that some of the rioters are now identifying themselves as press. And I just want to be clear that if someone has an identification of press and they engage in violent conduct, they physically assault an officer, they're not magically immune from the criminal laws if, if they engage in a violent assault. Is that right? Uh, that is correct. And in Portland, there was an incident with local law enforcement, between local law enforcement and press, that led to a federal court order that was later extended circumstantially without uh, a similar type of incident, in our view, um, to all law enforcement, meaning federal law enforcement as well, and we've respected that order. But upon the implementation of that order, just as you described, Mr. Chairman, suddenly people started sprouting wearing all black block and press. Um, uh, all black block, you mean the, the uniform of, of these rioters, yes, essentially? Yes, that makes it hard to distinguish one from the other, which is the purpose of, the, of wearing the black block, and, um, and also to make it for quick changes so they can change their appearance as well. And so more of them are now doing that with the addition of press across their front or back. And many of them you can watch a uh, readily available Seattle video, for instance, where they will literally stand in the middle of uh, a gap between police and rioters in, right in the middle of the line of the rioters. So they're, they're actively performing a shield function. Now, I'm not saying the majority of them do this, but once the court singled them out, um, there's no question that a number of the violent participants in these activities started to try to take advantage of it. Senator Graham.